Welcome to WP Matt. In this video, we are going to learn about color control of Elements Kit Widget Builder. Using color control, you can change any kind of color dynamically. In order to show you how color control work, I'll use one of our existing widget named Article. In this widget, we will change this article background color and the button color dynamically. Let's see how to do this. Go to your dashboard, Elements Kit, My Widgets, and there you'll find article. In here, we'll change this article background color and this button color. Before that, let's remove the existing color. From CSS, I'll remove the article background color and the button background color. The color control is a part of a style tab. So, let's add the color control into this style tab. Search color, drag and drop. After that, you'll find a new variable named color. Now, let's see the options. In the first options you'll find is the label name. Let's change the name as background color. And I'm giving the name as color underscore article. There you'll find another option name alpha this option is used to implement color opacity and they will find the default color right now is hash 000 which means black and they will find the option to show the color label and the label block and you will also find another option which is css selectors in color control you can apply the color by using inline css or if you want to use the color using selectors, you can do it. Firstly, we'll add the color control into this article. So let's write the style equal background color colon or variable. Here the variable name is color article. This variable name change according to the name. Make sure you have cursor here, then click our article. After that, click save, go back to your font page and refresh the page. After refreshing the page, click on your widget, go to style and there you will find the background color. Here you can see we don't have any title name, it's getting the default title. We will talk about it. Now let's change the color. From here, I'm giving the color as green. You can also change the color opacity using this alpha. Let's decrease it. And you can see it's working now. Let's learn how to change the color using CSS selectors and how to change this title. And this time we will work with the button. Again, go back to your widget page and this time we'll work with the button. To do this, in button we need a selector we are using a class here i'm giving the class name as color underscore button now take another color control from here and drag and drop in the style tab now let's change the title i'm giving the title name button color and the previous title name wrapper all right now go to the button color and there you will also find the similar settings like label name etc now go to the css selectors part and click add item in the first box, you need to provide your selector and in the second box, you need to provide your property and value. Our selector name is dot as we are using class, so it should be a dot color hyphen button. And as we want to change the background color, so the property should be background color colon value. The value must be inside of double curly braces and in uppercase. Let me show you. First, you have to write double curly braces 
and between them you need to write value. Make sure the value name is in uppercase. Now click save, go to your front page and refresh the page. Now click on your widget, go to style and there you will find another option, button color. Open it and there you will find the color. Let's change it. Now what if you need to change the color on hover? In order to do this, go to your dashboard and take another color control. Drag and drop into color section and change the name. I'm giving the label name color hover. Now go to CSS selectors and in here we need to provide our selector name and the property. We have already defined our selector so we don't have to define for twice. Our previous selector is dot color hyphen button but this time we want to change the color on hover so colon hover as we want to change the background color so write background color colon value all right go to your front page and refresh the page now click on your widget Go to style and there you will find another color option, color hover. Let's change it to green. Now if you hover on the button, you can see the color is changing to green. This is how the color control works. Thank you for watching this video.